Well, hello everyone. It is Saturday. It's about 11.30 and I was not going to vlog today. You could step in and say hi. <laughs> it was, it's 11.30. I was not planning on vlogging today at all. I just thought we're just going to go about our life. But then it's such a beautiful day outside. They said it was going to get to 60. It feels warmer than 60 right now. Are you singing songs? I do. Are you? Come here. I like that song. <laughs> All right, so what's going down here today is there is just a lot of stuff since it's such a nice day. Warren actually, okay, honey, you don't know how loud you're singing right now, so you gotta stop singing or whisper your words, okay? Right, okay, so sorry. Warren had to change oil in one of the tractors okay. because he has had to, he probably already has it going, uh, he has to pump back water. So when we put water on the cranberry beds, like to do the flooding and stuff in the spring, uh, which can be done for two reasons, I guess. Well, there's multiple reasons, but t the two that he did it for this time was to just kind of protect the vines um, from the cold uh, that we have been getting over the last, well, it seems like forever. <laughs> and then also to uh, bring up any of the leaf trash from last year from after harvest. They always go through and rake all of the leaf trash, but they don't always get all of it. And so then this spring flood, gets all that leaf trash to float again and they go around with pitchforks or kind of like a manure rake or manure fork something like that anyways and they put that all they scoop that all out of the water okay so that's what he's doing and then he was just kind of helping me gather up some buckets because this year what I want to do is do the five gallon pale bucket potato growing. I don't know if you guys have kind of seen some of those. I'm sure you have because so many of you told me that you watch like different gardening channels and things like that and homesteading channels. But what I want to do is try it myself. Look at our pallets. Aren't these great? It's like almost a year anniversary for Emily and Jamie and this says no longer two but one. That was their um, Bible verse. And then this one over here says, <laughs> welcome to our happily ever after. All right, so those are the pallets that I'm using. She didn't want them anymore. But all I did, so Warren helped me gather up some pails, 10 of them. And then I used a three quarter inch drill bit. And I'm just so proud of myself. I did it all by myself. Um, I put four holes in the bottom of each pail to allow for drainage. Yes, Joe is <laughs> playing with Eska right now. All of this over in this area and over here, we used to have allow our chickens to run in this whole area, but we had to kind of pen them into a little smaller area this time so that Eska, um, it was just easier to put a roof on a smaller area. Hi, Joe. Excavator for a dump truck. I know, you have an excavator and a drum back there. Right there on the sand pile. Uh, cause I use that rake Maria to level up the ground under here. What I was saying here is that I'm going to dig this, some of this soil that's in here, I'm actually gonna use to halfway, um, or to partially fill up my pails here because I want this really good, uh, this has just like year old chicken manure in here and it's already kind of composted to soil and everything. It's just gonna work out really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put soil in here and I'm just following, what is his name? Hollis, is his name? Does that sound familiar to you guys? Um, him and his wife have a, a urban homestead channel. And so I'm gonna give this a try. I've wanted to try this actually with tires for a really, really long time. I saw that years and years ago and we just never got to it. But I'm gonna fill this up about four inches and I have some seed potatoes that I'm going to put into here. I'm just gonna put two in each bucket and then we're gonna see what we can make happen. Actually, now that I think about it, I might not actually get all of these planted because what I have learned is that there's two types of potatoes, determinate and indeterminate. The determinate potatoes really only grow in kind of like one layer underground. So it really doesn't matter how much soil you continue to put on top of those, they're not gonna continue to shoot out uh, roots and tubers 
which would you know make the potato um, but an indeterminate I hope I'm saying this the right way yes an indeterminate potato will actually uh, as you continue to add soil they will continue to shoot out tubers and you do that until basically your pail is full and then you wait for the tops to die off and then you can harvest those and really easy just kind of cut the tops back and then dump the pail over and sift through and find the potatoes I say it's really easy I've never done it it just looks easy um, so that's kind of what is going down here today so Sam and Peter have been working on dirt bikes today what were you doing there Peter boy well, this is Sam's but since uh -huh. I'm starting mine now to test it but while we were doing we we're just changing the oil and um doing the chain. Okay. We need to tighten it. Tighten up the chain? Yep. Alrighty. Wow, Sam! Come on, muscle! Oh, hold that in place. Muscle! 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 So, I do a lot of I don't know. I don't know if you call it dumb things or just where, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just kind of willing to experiment and try some things. <laughs> and I don't know what my results are going to be. But these are actually some potatoes that we grew in last year's garden. Peter, what is that on me? Peter and Maria, they went ahead last fall on a very, very rainy day and they dug all the potatoes. Cause, now, yeah? Because we, we, because mom said she wanted to get it done, so when me and Peter went outside, we got our toy Gershi cart, and, and Peter was digging the potatoes with our little shovel and, I, and filling the Gershi cart, and I was taking them over and washing them in the hose. Yeah, yeah. It was so, so rainy and cold. It was very but rainy. We still kept going. <clears throat> That's good. I like that about you guys. So. So anyway, they ended up, there were a lot of them, they had like cuts and whatnot from digging and they weren't very, all that great of potatoes in the first place. I don't know, our potatoes last year, they got super scabby. I mean, like look at this one right here. I have no idea why it got like that, but it's almost like they got, I don't really know. So anyway, I'm just going to try it. They've been down in the basement uh, in a dark area all winter. They've grown, as you can see, enormous, I guess, um, technically, the little spot where the eye would grow is what is technically the eye. And then what actually grows out, like, let's look. When it's like this, no. then... They, that is called a chit, or maybe that's even a little too big. Those are called chits. So anyway, the chits have grown and grown and grown. I don't even know if there's going to be enough uh, nutrition left in these potatoes, but I'm just going to trim all of these eyes down, or these chits down, and I'm going to plant them and see what happens. <laughs> These are all done. I have them filled back up, or not back up, but just filled up with soil. And um, I'm going to have to get some bone meal at some point, and then these have to be watered in really well. I think I'm going to end up watering them in first because I'm not really <laughs> making a bunch of trips right now. But at some point in the next week, I'm going to get some bone, mo bone meal that I'm going to um, you know, liberally apply to the top. Over here... I planted some peas. I have a pack of 150 seeds, snap peas. I only planted 12 seeds right here, um, just because this beautiful weather is probably a trick <laughs> and we're probably um, not on the true warming trend. But the packaging always says for peas that you should plant them as soon as you can work the soil. Well, I can I could have worked this soil a few weeks ago already but it's been I mean we've had snow in the last few weeks and 
uh, all kinds of really, really crazy weather. So anyway, this is the earliest I've ever done that. We'll see how that goes. Next week, I'm going to plant another little section, and I'll just kind of keep working my way down that fence line there and planting. Oh, Maria's looking for Eska. I can hear her hollering for her. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do this year with the peas, because in the past, I've always planted my peas, I feel, too late. Peas, uh, they prefer a cooler temperature for germination. And I always tend to just, I think, wait too long. And then we don't always get the greatest of peas. Okay, so that's what we're doing. It has got to be way afternoon. I am starving. My stomach is just growling. Um, okay, so we have to put a few of these things away. But I wanted to take you guys, I wanted to show you Warren's pump. I've probably shown this in another video before. I'm not even sure if I was clear before about why he pumps back the water. So I think I talked about putting in the flood, but pumping back is just in case. Oh, here he comes. I was gonna go and look at the pump. Where That's are you? It's just where we were. We just checked it out. You wanna jump on the back? Yes. Just pumping back the flood water so that's a 16 inch pipe i have a 16 inch pump i uh, suppose we could show it from the first spot to this spot huh? all right well i flooded up to do a spring trash flood put in the uh gator pump on the marsh and the pond is about six inches down from full and we've had a really dry period here for a couple of weeks and Honestly, it's a lot easier to pump back than make it rain. So you like to go into the growing season with a full pond and so I'm pumping the, all the water back. I mean, it, there's a cost. You have diesel fuel and time on the tractor, but it's still a lot easier to do that than make it rain. So that's why I'm pumping back. If you have a full flood on, it takes two and a half to three days to get everything back. So we'll see. It's supposed to rain this next week and we'll see how much rain we get. I think by Monday morning, I'll have most of the water back. So I'm gonna pump all through the weekend. Alrighty, Joe, where are we going? Bucket. Yeah, we're gonna launch a rocket today, aren't we? Yep. Let's go, I can hear the four-wheeler. They are waiting for us. We were the slow pokes. I dropped my camera before and a bunch of the little screws that hold, oh gosh, <laughs> the screws that hold the back of this on a loosened up. Anyway, hey, look at that nice rocket. Super cool. Put that in and you gotta push it down until the light comes on. Okay, so now we do a countdown, wait. We're gonna do a countdown and then you push the button. Hey, Joseph. Okay? okay. Watch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> You gotta do some troubleshooting, I guess. That launch already, Rocky. Just launch. Okay. All right, we're gonna try Five, again. Four, three, two, one. Whoa! There it is. I see it. See it? No, don't go in the pond. Oh my goodness. Oh man, so we went chasing after it and there it is, right up in the tree. Well, what do you think, Peter? I think that tree needs to be firewood. <laughs> do you hear dad? Yeah. <laughs> 
Wait, really, Dad? <laughs> Is he really going to cut the tree down? I think so. Oh, my. I don't think so. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think he will. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Oh, the things Dad will do. Well, we're not losing our rocket today. Oh, jeez. Take the igniter and we put it in there as far as it'll go, and then we bend that. Okay, and then we now tear one of those off, twist it. There you go. And now, this once the igniter is in there, <coughs> now what you want to do, hey Dad, this just burned up with these. Yeah. Five, Five ten, four, four, three, three two, 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 one. one. Whoa! That is straight. Oh! It's gonna fall on us. Back! Okay, we gotta watch where it goes. You guys ready to watch? I think you're gonna have to wait till till we're done with the flood and then you can launch them out on the marsh. Yeah, just too many trees around here, what Peter. About the one that has launching cars. So there it is again. Where? Adjusted for wind. It went right camera. back in the same exact little area. Do you see it up there, Maria? It's at the tip, oh, yeah. tip top. Alrighty, so that was the second one into the trees. <laughs> Trying to adjust for wind, and it just, it's like as soon as they shoot them off, it's like, I don't know, the wind just changes. It's kind of crazy like that. But Video you, yep, Maria just did a hundred cartwheels in a row. Uh, I think I did 100, 101, 103, because I did three more. You did three more I after? To do more. Okay, so she wants to show us, but there's so much noise. We got dirt bikes everywhere. Okay, we're ready. Nice going. That was 104. And 105. And 106. <laughs> my best one yet. That was a really good one. Yeah, we got a lot going on here. Vaughn, are you ready? Vaughn, my mark, set, go. Oh. oh boy. And, you know, just add a payloader in there too. <laughs> so it's 8 o'clock right now and I'm not used to uh, filming at this time of night. I usually, uh, I'm usually long done with it by now. But anyway, this day just kind of keeps on going on. We actually spent pretty much all day outside. As soon as we were done with lunch, we were back out there uh, just doing stuff. I mean, just, the kids were all playing on the, um, what were you guys doing? 
he's not, he can't hear me. You guys have teenagers know. that are all plugged in all the time and they can never, never hear you when, when you talk. Um, okay, but they were on the dirt bikes and everything. We're just doing all kinds of stuff. And then I said, what should we do for supper? I had nothing planned. So I'll show you what we did. I placed an order for a lot of Chinese. And Amber and Sam, they ran and they got that, which was really, really nice. Um, yes, Maria is doing something here with a little compass she found, I think in the... Peter found it. Peter found it? In the sand pile? No. Well, yeah. I think that's where it was. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is everyone's waiting for Warren to come in. He has had to go out and take care of his pump. Uh, he had to, what does he say he has to do? He has to grease it and then he has to fuel up the tractor. So, and he has to do that every, I know he told us earlier on this video, so many hours, it's either six or eight hours. Just wait, honey, that, that he has to do that. And so we're all waiting for him because when Amber and Sam went in, they, to town they stopped at IGA and picked up some ice cream as well. Oh boy, we've got a flashlight blinking in the background, but um, I thought I would make some cornflake clusters. That's something that uh, Warren has been asking for. He was asking for two things lately, caramel corn and cornflake clusters. So yesterday I made caramel corn, and just a tip, if you make caramel corn, add a tiny bit of molasses, like to the caramel mixture, probably a tablespoon or something. It was so, so good like that. And the reason I did that was because I didn't have any dark brown sugar and the recipe calls for dark brown sugar. And so I thought, well, I can kind of just darken my own brown sugar with a little molasses and it was so good. So it's really, really easy. You just bring to a boil one cup of white sugar, one cup of light corn syrup and one cup of peanut, no? You don't bring the peanut butter to a boil. You just bring those first two things to a boil, boil them, I don't know, half a minute or a minute or something like that, add in a cup of peanut butter, and then we're gonna stir in cornflakes and peanuts. Okay, so in here is just one cup of we always use the salted peanuts and then there's five cups of cornflakes. All right, it's boiling. Now I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna add in one cup of peanut butter and stir it really, really well. I just stirred in the peanut butter until it was all totally combined and then Maria's just mixing up, you know, the little mixture here. And we're just gonna put this by kind of big spoonfuls onto the wax paper. Mm -hmm. 